Okay, so let's do the z-test for independent sample. So the z-test for independent sample is very easy. So what you're going to do is both samples are random. Samples must be independent. That, that is, there can be no relationship between such and sample. And the standard deviations of both population must be known. So dapat alam natin yung population standard deviation. And the sample size are less than 30. So, hindi ibig sabihin na dapat less than 30. If ito siya, if it is less than 30, then the population must be normally or approximately normally distributed. So, ano ba yung theory niyan, no? So, yung concern natin before is actually we are just, uh, we are just um, trying to estimate a certain parameter. Okay, so ang titina natin is yung sample, sampling distribution ng parameter na yun. Now, if we want to estimate the uh, distribution of the difference, so actually meron siyang distribution, yung difference na. So the same pa rin na idea, mag-collect ka ng sample, mag-collect ka ng sample, group 1, group 2, get the mean and get the difference of the mean. So for every sample na mag-collect, iba-iba eh, ding difference ang makukuha mo. I distribute mo yan. I mean, i graph mo yan. Meron siya. Yun yung tinatawag niyang sampling distribution of the sample means. So, ano yung hinahanap actually dito? It's just the difference. Now, we want to know whether this difference has a mean of zero. Kasi ko ang mean niya ay zero, we can say that there is actually no difference between the two population means. Yeah? Okay. So the variance is just the sum of the variances for each samples where the variance of one is where the variance this, this, yun yung variance ng difference. So, uh, so the variance of the difference it's just the sum of the variance of the individual samples. Where this one is this one and this one. So therefore, the standard deviation is just, the bag standard deviation natin is what? If this is the standard deviation, uh, if, uh, this is the variance, Where, then the standard deviation is just the square root of the variance. Pangit ko gagi no. Parehara mang gihapon kung magsulat ko sa blackboard. So you have here the, uh, so kung maon niya ang variance, Paano na ito ang square root? Muna na standard deviation. So, muna ni siya. Yes? Diba? Yes. Okay. So, the formula is quite the same, no? Tum sa dati. Kasi ang dati natin, pag single statistic lang siya, it's just x minus mu ha? times the standard error. Correct? If we are going to test for the population. Tama ba? Okay. So therefore, ang gagawin lang pala is itong, we are now concerned with difference, so therefore, dapat difference din siya. So kaya siya naging difference. Of course, we are interested in the difference of the actual population mean. Okay? And of course, this is the standard error. So ito yung sinasabi ko. Expected value is of course sometimes synonymous with the mean. So the mean difference, the mean, the mean of the differences is equal 
Itu dah sudah min. The mean of the no? differences of sample means is just equal to the difference of the two population. Well, then you have the standard error, which is just the standard deviation of this distribution. But can I be getting standard error? This is actually the same idea. Uh, standard error is actually the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. Always remember that it's nothing more than the standard deviation of the sampling distribution. Okay. okay, now we can apply that. So the idea, the idea now is that if you have a sample, the sample, if they are come from the same population lang pala, meaning walang difference, kukuha ka ng sample, kukuha ka ng sample, expectedly ang difference niyan will be equal to zero because they just come from the same sample. Am I? Correct. So therefore, the difference is not significant or the means of the populations are the same. And we have here the HO, which states that they are just equal. Or you can also say mu1 minus mu2 is zero. Or mu2 minus mu1 is zero. Okay. Now, pag my difference, ano ibig sabihin? The idea actually is that they come from different population. So maaari kung meron tayong makitang difference sa uh, heights ng mga tao, uh, I mean, meron tayong difference makita sa height ng babae, between babae and lalaki, meaning the height of the girls, let's say this one, is distributed. Okay, differently from the height of males. Yan ang ibig sabihin. So therefore, the difference is significant, the means of population are different, and we have to reject each one. Okay. Very simple lang na yung idea. Yes, of course. Kasi nadaara yun naman kasi yan. Yeah, it's the first time. Review lang yan. Okay. Kung right-tailed, Pag sinabi natin right-tailed, meaning we are now comparing not only equal, but greater than. Uh, pag sinabi natin tailed siya, we're actually concerned with relationship na equal ba, uh, greater than ba, or less than. Okay? So pag sinabi natin right-tailed, so saan ba yung galing yung tail na yan? Galing actually yan siya sa distribution, no? Ay, pangita sa drawing ko eh. Ayan, balik na. So, pag sinabi natin right tail, saan ba ang right dyan? Huh? So, right, ang ibig sabihin yan is the mean mu 1 is greater than mean 2. So, ano ibig sabihin? Meaning that the difference mean mu mean 2 is positive. Okay, so nandito yan. Kasi assuming natin no, na this is the mean. Okay, this is the mean. So ito yung positive side. Pero hindi siya actually always positive. No? Um, mayroong mga cases kasi na um, doon sa actual talaga na values is negative positive, uh, negative positive. But we can always standardize it such that pag standardize natin, kung walang Kung walang difference, it will just be zero. Okay? So, meaning, zero lang ang ating mean. So, symmetric siya at zero. So, kung right, left tail naman, meaning less than. So, 
Ito, madali siya isipin kasi mu1 minus mu2 is less than 0. So, nandito siya sa left side na to ang comparison. Okay? So, yan lang yan siya idea. So, right? Always naman din, of course, wag kalimutan, equal ang h o. And uh, relationship na concern natin in test is nasa h1. Okay, so let's try this uh, example before we end. So a study using two random samples of 35 people, each, each found that the average amount of time those in the age group of 20 to 35 years spent per week on leisure activity was 39.6 hours and those in the age group of 40 to 55 years spent 35.4 hours. Assume that the population standard deviation for those in the first age group found by previous studies is 6.9 hours. And the population standard deviation of those in the second group found by previous studies was 5.8 hours. At alpha equals 0 0.05, can it be concluded that there is significant difference in the average type of age group spent of leisure activity? So ano yung dalawang group na i-compare natin dito? Sige daw. Yung Age group, alam, hindi naging sulat. Okay. Yung age group na 26 to 35, tsaka yung age group na 46 to 55. And we are trying to know whether there is a difference between the amount, uh, the, the number of hours spent on leisure. So, ibig sabihin ng leisure is yung paparelax na activity. Like example, ano ba yung mga leisure activity nyo ngayong ano, COVID? Let's ask, ano, Erika. Erika, ano ba yung mga leisure activity mo ngayon, COVID ngayon, sa bahay lang? Ano ba yung mga leisure mo? Okay, nag-bake siya. So, actually, sa akin, pa hindi naman leisure yan, kaya mahirap. Pero leisure yan po, Erika, kasi ma-relax siya. No? Tama. Okay, how about si, ano, si Karen Pia Rivera? O, ano mga leisure mo ngayon, Kat, Kat, Karen, Pia, Rivera? Ngayong ano, ngayong COVID, ginagawa mo sa bahay. Hulsam lang ha, hulsam. Mga bake-bake lang ito is, itong uh, discuss na rin. Okay. Okay, Netflix. Ah, very good. Nanonood din ako, Netflix. Nanonood din ako. Yung ano, yung movie ngayon, yung, uh, yung series ngayon na ano. Uh, kingdom, yung mga zombie-zombie. No, pero natapos ko na. Natapos ko. Okay, so yun yung mga leisure activity. So ito yung example natin. So uh, pag tumatanda ba tayo, nagli-less yung leisure natin compared ng bata? Could be. No? Pero hanggang anong, anong age group? Here we are concerned with, eh, dito tayo, na, ah, hindi pala. Bata pa pala. Bata pa pala. 26 na ba kayo? I think 26 na kayo, no? Kasi karamihan sa inyo mukha namang 26. So, at, uh, let's assume 26. Ako naman is nasa age range ako ng 21. So, yan yung aking age range. So, hindi rin ako makarelate dyan. So, let us say na ito yung data na nakuha nila. So, 39.6 hours. Average lang to. So, nakakollect sila ng 25 people each. So, N, let us say, ang N sub 1 dito ay 35. N sub 2 is 35 each kasi. So, 35 din yan. And then, kinuha nila yung average for this age group, nakuha nila 39.6. Dito naman, nakuha sila ng 35.4. Of course, there's a difference because this is just a sample. no? So, we are, we are talking about average difference. But since we are dealing with sample, can we say that this difference is actual is an actual difference or it's just because of sampling? It's not an actual difference. Na meron talagang difference, but because nagkataon lang na yung sample natin ay hindi naman equal. So yun yung, yun yung sinasabi ng um, significant. Na? That's the term that we usually use. Is it significant? How big? Before we can say that it's significant. At alpha, 0.0. Okay, so I think ready na tayo. Meron din tayong binigay na standard division. Ano yung standard division? Six point three. Tama standard division ay 
5.8. Okay, ayan na yung mga data. So, sample, the sample means, and the population standard deviation. So, since given in some sample standard deviation, if we have more than 35, then we can use the z-test. Always remember that. Put that in your brain. So, okay, so it's solved natin to. I will try to share with you a whiteboard para may iba naman yung ano natin. Okay. Kita ba ang whiteboard? Okay. So, sulat lang natin. Kita ba dito? Okay, so N1 is 35 which is actually equal to N2. X1, so let us say X1 is our, how you say it, the 26 to 35, and that was 39.6. X2, <coughs> X2 is the age group 46 to 55, which is 35.4. Then the population standard deviation for the age group 26 to 35 is 6.3. And the population standard deviation for the second group is um, 5.8. Okay. So what is our age? Oh. Always in general again. So mu1 is equal to mu2. Dapat consistent yan. So pag sinabi mu1, x1, uh, sigma1 means we are referring to the first group, which is the 26 to 35. Ano ang H1 natin? Ang tanong ba kanina is my greater or less? Wala, right? So, ang tinanong lang is, is there a significant difference? So, pag difference lang, of course, our H1 is not equal. Right? Okay. So, ano yung test na gagamitin? Z-test. Then, computation. So, Z, lagyan lang natin dito ang formula pa. Hindi tayo malito. Um, we use the Caseum square. Okay. So therefore, the computation now will be 39.6 minus 35. Ano yung mu1, mu2 natin? It's zero. Because of this uh, alternative hypothesis na not equal. So therefore, we're just concerned whether it's different from zero or not. Right? Divide it by 6.3 square 35 plus 5.8 square 35. Okay, so ano yan? Sige, tulungan nyo naman ako mag-compute-compute. Diyan lang kayo mag-inig-inig lang. Compute-compute din kayo dyan. Divided by 6.3. Yes. 
divide it by 35. You know my second? Two point. Ay, iba lagi nakuha mo. Nakuha ko is 2.9. 2.90. Yeah, we can just say 2.9. Ah, yes, that's correct. So, yan yung ating statistics. Now, we have to make the decision rule. Ano ba yung decision rule natin? So, pang, ang ibig sabihin, ang decision rule natin is, do we reject this? I mean, is this significant or not? Is this different different significant or not? So, ang uh, usual na rejection rule natin dyan ay, if we look at the distribution, saan dapat, ay, kapangin ko, ano, saan dapat mabilong ang rejection? to tell no so ang alpha natin is 0 0.05 maghanap tayo ng value dito sa ating z uh, sa ating normal distribution value din dito such that ang total area nito tung dalawa ito dapat ay 0 0.025 ito naman ay 0 0.025 so dapat the total of this we know na the total of that is 0.05. Okay. Now, kung ang value na ito, no, the value na to is, kung dito na sa, kung ang na-compute natin, kasi positive, so we don't need to look at here because positive naman siya. So dito na siya titignan. So kung ang value nito ay less than 2.9, no, ito, ito. So, value kung saan ito ng 0 0.025 is less than so let us say that the value here is paano ba magamitin? Let's say S na lang. So is ah actually mayroong ginagamit. Z critical tawag dyan. No? Z critical. Ang Z critical yun yung value na kung saan i-compute mo yung area dito tsaka ito negat kasi symmetric ang ano kasi symmetric ang normal. So dapat ito ang mag -neg negative lang siya dito. Ito positive. So dapat ito din. So dapat itong 2.9 the z critical in order for us to know whether it's difference must be less than 2.9. Okay, so ano yung z critical natin diyan? So titingnan natin sa table. Tama? So ano ba yung uh, Z critical pag ang ating um, Z critical pag 0 0.025? That's one way. But another one way is to find ano yung area. No? This is the distribution. Tapos let us say this is 2.9. Ano yung area niya dito? Now, if the area here is less area is less than point zero two five, then that's the time we can say that it is significant. Okay, so we will continue our lesson on that next meeting.